everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Now, as you guys know, I do like looking at the V stats, at the stats of the actual streams when they show up. Summer Jam for both groups. We have 11849 max viewers, average viewers of 9777 for a free concert that is a once in, in this case, once in a lifetime, because they're probably not going to do it again, concert, you would expect it to be more. A Hollow Life concert of the same stature gets 100k views. The last summer concert that Hollow Life did, the most recent one, had 100k views because they put it out for free because there was a situation that happened where the the... Uh, organization the group that was going to be streaming it the company that was going to be streaming it had a lot of technical difficulties and they refunded everybody and decided screw it we're going to make our first day which was the one that had the issues be free the males had a lot better viewers they had 32,638 and 23,728 respectively when it comes to max versus normal ccv that shows that the males at least in this case had a much better uh, support from the fans. And here you have their full public times, their total times of an hour and 46 minutes for both about an hour and 54, hour 46, about the same. The chat numbers were pretty high with 552,000 and 57,000 respectively. They didn't seem to have um, very many super chats uh, or any at all. Looks like they didn't even turn on um, any kind of super chat earnings for this one, which is strange. Either they didn't turn it on or no one gave it to them. If they were not going to turn it on, let's just assume they didn't turn it on. They should have just done it at uh, Anime Expo as well. Just done it at the same time. Ouch, the girls got blue balled hard. They're being punished. The end livers are being punished because Crow Noir show didn't sell out, which happened because EN management, uh, just they just ended Niji's reputation in the West. Punishment is forfeiture of revenue from the show. They're not getting so much as one cent to split between the nine of them. So it seems like, yeah, it seems like it's it's a, a weird rumor, but it seems like they, it might be some kind of punishment. Now, moving on to what people are saying about the concert. They were mentioned, um, they weren't monetized, so I figured I'd watch sort of last hurrah for Nidhi Sanji Yen as they're on the decline. There was a time when this concert truly would have made me so happy. Still beautiful. They all perform beautifully as they would because it's a concert. They're putting out their 100%, which a lot of uh, livers do. All of them were very talented. It's sad to say it that way. Uh, Nidhi Sanji could just change. We could have had this. I'm glad to know it was at least good. I only saw a clip of Rosemary Cartwheel, but I still won't give it any engagement. Also feels even worse for the people that were planning to watch it at the venue. If it was bad, one could have said, hey, at least they didn't pay for this. Also, all covers, no originals, even for the ones that have them. That's sad, not going to lie. It was still, it was all covers. So that's not, that's not good. I mean, a lot of people want to see the, like the original songs being sung. So that was there. It would have been more beautiful. Of course it would have, but yeah, that's the way that they decided to run it. It really is sad. Unfortunately, it is sad to see for the livers themselves, uh, the ones not involved in the black screen stream or involved in other huge issues. It is sad to see them actually put effort into something and it not paying off as much as they deserve. What I mean by that is I'm pretty sure even, you know, Elira, as much as people don't like her, Finana, as much as people don't like her, uh, Rosamie and Petra, people don't really have an issue with, and Millie, as much as people don't like her, I wonder if they actually put a lot of effort into mixing their songs and um, doing their own care, you know, choreography, which is something that I think happens a lot of because I don't think Nidhi Sanji actually pays for choreography. So overall, it was a great for self-made and indie VTuber group concert. Yeah, it pretty much was a self-made and indie VTuber pretty much. Definitely had the feeling of self-effort. I will give it that. Probably company only provides the equipment, but I didn't see it fully to confirm though. They could provide surprise guests to spice things up since it was a live stream. But with the company like that, I doubt that was possible. Knowing the company, they probably provided a bare minimum and it was the livers who made most of it possible, but it came out pretty darn good. The girls did an amazing job with the songs. And they probably worked their asses off. I know they worked their asses off because I do karaoke. I suck at it. I suck really horribly at it. It's it's kind of a joke at this point how bad I'm, I'm at karaoke. But I still do it. And it still takes a lot of effort to learn the songs, to learn the pitch, to get the pitch correct. It is a lot of effort to do that. And I applaud them for doing that. See, Ro Wozumi's missing body due to her sleeves. Makes her look disembodied from here on. Uh, but for real, I applaud their singing and effort, particularly like Lyra's Just Be Friends. Uh, sure, the dancing is just okay, but uh, their their company is about idol style, so it's forgivable. And yeah, like I said, people have issues with with uh, Elira, you know, Millie. 
Banana. The, the thing is, pushing those issues aside, they did put effort into the music that they did. They did put effort to try to make it entertaining, and I will give them that little bit of leeway. The numbers, Mason! What do they mean? What do these crazy numbers mean? And why do they make me tingle? All right, let's go. Nidisanji numbers, uh, EN, numbers of members and numbers of streams. 2024, Scarlet has 11K members. In January, she got 2K. All these, these are all member numbers, remember. XLA, PO, uh, PO has 11,000. Fulger has 10,000, etc. All these numbers are pretty good. Denoth, Twisty, Clara, and of course, you have uh, Ryoma, which around 600, 600, 600, a little bit lower. Uh, you have over here as well, even lower numbers of, uh, these are the number of live stream events including streams and premieres. Scarla in 2024 so far is 198. Of course, Danoth is going to have lower with Ryoma, uh, Clara, Twisty, etc. going to have lower because they just started out. But here's their numbers each month as well. And here are their revised Super Chat numbers. Takes into account the volatile value of the Japanese yen, which is how Hololizer uses. It's 110,000 US dollars for Scarla for the whole year. Uh, Pomu has 107, so she's number two already. And she's only worked, I believe, in January because January 30th was her graduation date. So that was only for one month. She's already at the top. And that shows you the bad um, publicity that's been going on with Nidhi Sanji has been affecting their talents. And also, especially Ian, and the bad support structure that they have for Nidhi Sanji Ian is also affecting their talents negatively, as you can see in all their numbers here. It says, big ouch for Finana, who's at the higher end of the number of streams, but in the lower end of earnings. Also, Scarlet really showing her way. Uh, stream an effing lot and earn an effing lot to avoid controversy. And avoiding controversy is actually what helps her. That's it. That's the only way a job Niji can work. She's like holding the support bars to not fall into the water to both hands, but can't climb back up. Of course, because Niji Sanji doesn't give them the support they need. Uh, Niji is not known for its male livers in JP, but seeing Pomo with 4.8 times supers of Kyo and still being second place with her just her January earnings really show uh, how much they have left on the table. They could have had a lot on the table, but they decided to squander everything, of course. And that is what uh, is on with the numbers this month of Niji Sanji Ien. A little bit of the meme culture, this time with Kunai, of course. Uh, we like older women, love me the hag cat. Uh, whenever I see the words hag cat, it reminds me of her. We like older women, and that's Yisayu, of course. Isn't Kunai wolf-based? One of her Oshi marks is this, which is a strange considering the debut stream had Awu uh, as a title. So she's she wants to she's a wolf who wants to be a cat, is my guess, or something. <laughs> That'd be funny. And also, the low quality Nidisanji Jujutsu meme, I just thought Mahito also mutated anyone he touched, turned them into puppets and weaponized them. Hollow purple. Near death situation, domain expansion, brand embodiment of dysfunction. Yes, of course. That's that looks like Fulger. Holy crap, that looks like Fulger. I'm sorry. If it isn't, then the, the, the freaking what the heck is going on? But that's that's a funny one. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of meme meme break. This is something you could never see in Niji Sanji. This is why I'm putting it here. Apparently, Flair's mom speaks to chat during stream, which is something that you don't really even ever imagine in Niji Sanji. あの、that's very good that they don't make a fuss at least. So no. But Mama, what's Mama, Mama, just a little bit. I just want to meet you. Just a little bit. Ha ha ha. ママがいるんですけど。
That's cute. That's cute. That's cute that you can see it. It's something that you wouldn't see in Idi Sanji, like I said. Hollow is actually in the position to debut Hollow Mom at this rate. Hollow and Faye synchronized mom wave. My Hollow Mom in law, Puerto Rican, is going to be happy boy. Who? <laughs> Koi. Coefficient. Yes, coefficient. Just a part, a little area where, of course, everyone enjoys Yago. Yago, of course, has a security around there. He feels safe around his community and around the people who trust him and are there to, you know, enjoy his company and enjoy the company of Hollow Life that he has created. So you have basically a returns in Anime Expo, Hollow Life cosplay gathering of Achan tribute. This was an Achan tribute gathering that they were doing. He says, Hollow just can't get stop getting W's this week. Should have seen a turnout at Petrie Hall. The place was half full by the end of the Sonic panel. Before some fans come camping the hall then filled up the guys who lined up outside. Basically, you, in these areas, you line up outside several hours before the whole thing starts because it's going to get full. There's a Sonic panel for GSC Hollow One. Usual Yago cheers happened, but Aki, the CEO of GSC, also got chance for him and the fans. Good small company is GSC. So here you have Yago greeted by even more fans at Anime Expo. And this is, like I said, thanks to him making his company such a great organization. He has his handlers, of course. He has his handlers, of course. Everyone is very happy to see Yago. Everyone is very happy that he's there. The man is treated like a celebrity, as he should be. And of course, this is him uh, showing up to Dodger Stadium. This is, of course, July 2023. The stuff that happened there. That was in 2023. That's him showing up now. He's always very... This is him this year as well. That's the Good Smile Company. And Yago, both showing up. People are very happy to see him. And of course, it should be this way. Thank you so much. And that's the thing. It's not like it's, of course, you can call it a cult of personality, whatever it is. But they're just appreciative of the man who brought them Hollow Life, who brought them a lot of their Oshis. Like I also say, this is mainly a Hollow Life thing, of course. But I also say Riku could have gotten this if he had not mistreated his talents the way that he did and made the company just a money grubbing organization. Uh, the talents always, always should be respected. They should never be harassed, no matter what company they're a part of. Unless they actually do something bad, and then you can critique them, but never harass and also respect the talents themselves because they are still hardworking VTubers behind the mask. A little bit of an update on the uh, Hololive table top game, the card game that they have. They have Marine, it's a sample. I apologize. If you have another apology conference, Sakamoto Chloe in your center stage, this card gets the following abilities. During your turn, this card gets 5,000 power. During your opponent's turn, this card becomes uh, face down, I guess. This card's battle opponent is level two. You may face down that character. At the beginning of your opponent attack phase, choose this card and your apology conference Sakamoto Chloe and exchange them as, and it continues on. So they're, they're, they're doing, they're putting a lot of, a lot of stuff in here as uh, lore as well, I guess. For the recent incident, which a mere pirate cosplayer, if you have another apology conference, you get plus 400 power, has all these types of things here where they're tied into each other, which is actually kind of cool. And you have here is it's, it has the, the, uh, the actual card page here. Uh, be your opponent, Robococcan. You have all these other cards. It's their Weiss Schwartz card list. All the things here. It's very, very cool. Uh, it says, put one Hololife character from your hand into your waiting room. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you may pay the cost. 
if you do choose one apology conference social marine in your waiting room and put it in any position on your stage so yeah they're they're adding all these things it's it's actually kind of cute it's very cute love how hot life does that there's actually no way i'm guessing this checkered background is a thing as common thing why shorts specifically re referencing the riku meme would be effing wild yes it'd be it'd be wild if they had that as like a riku meme i think it's actually like a japanese thing probably where they do that uh, the whole you know background and they're doing the apology stream but it'd be hilarious if they actually did it because of Riku. Here's a little critique on the Hollow Stars fandom or the fan base. Uh, they have Fujoshis just like the uh, Hollow Live girls have their unicorns. Uh, Corey Shannon unicorns are the ones that have the stroke if you even mention a male was in the vicinity of their Oshi. Unicorns are those weird guys that think they're always right but they, when they give them money Elizabeth Roseblood, let's not bring up negativity, just Rosarian positivity. This is a fun occasion. I'm rehearsing currently for a fun set. Hollow Life, uh, Fuamoko cultivated such toxic fans. Uh, those twins are disgusting. Oh my God, why are they doing this? Last warning before I send some people to the dungeon. Do not speak ill of any of my senpais. We spread positivity. All are welcome here. I'm glad that she put her foot down. This It is not good that this is happening right away because of dumb unicorns and Fujoshis. Uh, self-explanatory title with self-explanatory image. Hope the fan base has not become Niji EN 2.0. The boys are quite nice, even if I don't follow their streams. I feel bad that Elizabeth feels the need to state the obvious here. Unfortunately, she had to do that in her own dang stream. You don't, don't do this to other people's streams. Don't harass others in streams. Don't mention other uh, VTubers in the streams unless they mention them themselves. And when they do, do not go and make just negative posts about it. It is their stream. Respect that. Stars, beggars, and rabid unicorns are two sides of the same degenerate coin. Needy sisters are the one who flips the, co the said coin. Most likely sisters disguising as stars fans, trying to stir drama. They've been caught several times doing that. Law, they even try to bring Fuamoko into this. Somehow sisters really hate the twins. The twins, all they're doing is creating good content. All they're doing is doing their best to make sure that everyone is happy are as happy as they can be. Not a good idea to write everything off a secret NDF. It's, you know, they have their unicorns, they have their Fujoshis, like I said. They have their bad fan base. It's not always NDF, but NDF does get in there. Just like there are, I'm, I'm assure, I assure you that there are Hollow Life fans that go into Niji Sanji uh, streams and say bad things as well. So it, it's, it's a bad part of the community that I don't like and I don't think should ever be welcome or positive. Or there's anything positive sense for it. Welcome back to another VTuber showcase. This time with Creamex Airy, who's a VTuber who just wants to have fun with everybody. Uh, they prefer, you know, she, her. They are not a full-time VTuber or a LooTuber. They are just basically a virtual cat girl who wants to make friends, dumb jokes, give her friends, viewers a little safe space where they can enjoy themselves. They do Dead by Daylight, uh, Red Dead roleplay, party games with friends, collaborators, but she pays, plays a little bit of everything. She does League of Legends, Minecraft. She talks about cats, going on, on about cheese, which is interesting. Another cheese thing. Uh, even though she is lactose intolerant, being Canadian, and likes to burst into random story times. So it seems like a very, very fun VTuber to look at. All in all, her persona is relatable, uh, fun to be around. She is LGBTQ friendly. Uh, it's supportive of all things mental health related and a place where she wants you to be no fillers or filters. Of course, you know, within TOS. She does Twitch, YouTube right now for edited content. Would like to stream on there and currently working on creating multi-stream for Kick. She does chatting, gaming, art. As been shown before, she streams on Monday through Friday around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and goes between two to four hours. So, you know, take a look at her and I'll be showing you other channels that she has. She has her uh, right here, Cream X Airy on YouTube, which I am subscribed to. She has more of advice on things going on. You know, she does a little bit of her shorts on her game streams. But for the most part, like she says, five realistic ways to grow and improve your stream. Should you start streaming in 2024? Five mistakes uh, beginner streamers make that hurt their, their growth. Things like that. That's her YouTube side. Now on her Twitch side, like I said, she plays games. Red Dead Redemption was the last one she played two days ago. Uh, Dead by Daylight as well. Let's take a look at a just a most recent clip of things that she's done. All right, good. <laughs> I hear it in my microphone because my microphone has very sensitive playback. Oh, oh God. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> Did y'all hear that one? <laughs> there you go. See, she's, she's a very fun and, and creative individual. I'm glad. <laughs> she, she had fun with that one. The beep, beep. She had fun with that. And of course, I will post the 
all the links to her social media in a pinned post on uh, the YouTube side. So I appreciate if you take a look and just, you know, see if it's someone that you want to enjoy. Thank you again, Creamix Airy, for being a part of this VTuber showcase today. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.